is every is everyone you talk to and about a liar? Like I'm not I'm not interested in looking cool because I don't know about your corner of YouTube or the internet. Genuinely, every time I try to watch a piece of Kumia content, I become very, very bored. That's just real. And when I say Kumia content, I don't even think I mean Kumia content. This is how um, out of the out of the loop I am. This is how like I'm not even using the nomenclature right. I should say. Um, what I mean when I say I don't watch any Kumia programs, I I think of like Kevin Brennan and Bob Levy and Chad Zumach. Are those? I don't think that's actually Kumia's network. Right? That's his, that's its own thing. But I know those guys run Kumi all the time, so what I'm saying is, like, I call that Kumi as wealth. To think that I would lie about not being plugged in to that corner of, of YouTube is so narcissistic. I, I can 100% tell you with certainty that I hadn't seen a Steel Toe morning show video until Chad Zumach was talking about you, I said, what's the Steel Toe Morning Show? I saw that it led back to all this Zumach world stuff. And then I saw all the videos. I, wa I went to the oldest one, four months, and, I and that's the one I watched first. And then I got locked into it. It's very interesting. And I, my, what we do here is deep dives on locales. That's what we do here. So I knew my fans would be into it. And instead of like... Me watching a bunch of uh, me watching a bunch of videos on my own and trying to like somehow come back to you and explain it. Also, you know, I'm just not that. I'm not gonna clip video. I'm not. I'm not the who are these podcasts guys. I'm not those. I, I'm not gonna put all those clips together when there's so many of them, and I don't want to go through it again. So we might as well go through it together. And I was sitting home. And uh, Big Iris J texted me do a show. And I was like, fuck yeah. So we did the show. And um, just because I decided that uh, I'm going to do it live and go through your stuff and comment on it in real time, you think th that that means I'm unprofessional, I should um, be prepared and stop pretending like you don't know. It's like you're watching a video of me unprepared and you're pretending like you don't know about it and you don't. You're getting all kinds of stuff wrong because you skipped to a part. Um, just like me. And I don't... Again, Chad, you can see it in his face. He can't stand anyone else being brought up. He can't stand... Um, the uh, confrontation. When you send the people into his chat, there's a couple of your people in my chat here. Um, when you send people into his chat, he he loses his shit and goes away. He's got blinders on and blockers on, and he's denying a part of reality. And you can plainly see that. You can see the reactiveness, and you can see it in the way that he talks. To conflate that with me going, I don't watch the Kumia guys. Oh, uh, you don't watch them, but you're going to cover them? It's like, yeah. Yeah. We're going to start. We're going to get into it. Like, what are you insinuating that, I, that I'm a giant Kumia fan, have a compound membership, and have been a steel toe ride or die since day one? Is that the alternative? And then I'm hiding all that. It's never slipped out for years. I've been a steel, steel toe guy, but I don't want to give you guys any. What are you fucking talking about? How can people be so wrong about people? Like that takes a lot of intention and narcissism for you to even like formulate that as a default for people. I assume most of my listeners haven't seen it either. I'm not insane thinking like everyone's watched my show. Everyone's into what I'm into. I I haven't thought about Kumia 
since I was at his house. <laughs> like, it's so hard to believe that I'm not into Kumia. Get fucking real. What 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 planet are you on? I'm not into Kumia. <laughs> and by the way, I liked O and A. They were great. I like Anthony. He's he's funny. I couldn't. When people are like Aaron stealing from Kumia, I said I can't. I couldn't begin to identify ticks or traits that Aaron's doing that Kumia does because I haven't seen Kumia in so long. So like that's insane to Aaron, but okay, I can't. You know, guys, have some real ones. Actually, watch the thing and tear it apart. The takes. <laughs> you can't go. He pauses when he talks. This is crazy. <laughs> it's like okay. I'm not on the clock to cover this because you dabble in it. Like, just own it. That is a telltale sign of a guy who cares what strangers think. No, it isn't. I'm owning it now. I'm into it. I'm trying to get into it. <laughs> like, he's so pussy. He won't even just admit he likes this. I'm like, I like it. You fucking dopes. Listen, we are into it. I'm bringing it to my audience. We're into it. I'm just new. Yeah, right. He's been masturbating to it for years. He pretended like he doesn't know. What? <laughs> anybody who, who's anybody will know that I've never referenced Steel Toe Morning Show in my life. Privately, publicly, anywhere. I'd love for one person to come forward. <laughs> like, what? 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 Just admit you're into us and want to cover us. It's like, I am. I am. I'm in. Oh, and he does. Yeah. It's in there, I don't know really who they are or watch that much of it. But here's an episode. So of he, so here's, uh, so yeah, he's so, I guess he just, he literally, he, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt because he's heard Chad say that so much. He doesn't believe it. And Chad's such a weaselly little. Um, guy who cares what people think. I'm letting you know, because you guys are correcting me about a lot of shit that I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who's in and who's out right now. Here's what where I think everybody's at. From what I understand, I watched something with Florentine last night where it said that Chad likes to be the heel of every show. He likes to be the, the guy everybody picks on on every show. He's a perpetual victim. That's what Jim Florentine said, who apparently is like his good friend. So apparently Chad loves to be this guy, and that's why he will just lash out and call people cocks and start fights, because that's just what he wants. It's his whole thing to like be drawn into other shows. That's not what's going on here, dummy. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't want to be drawn into your show. This is shocking that 30 minutes into your four hour planned program that you guys do that you're putting on my five hour video. That's nuts. Again, it's not nuts for me. This is, I do this all the time. This isn't some crazy thing I do. I do this all the time. You know, we come in here late at night and dive. So what's weird is at 6 a.m. on your morning show to bring it up, but Okay, you're literally doing the same thing. You're unprepared. You're watching a video, pretending you don't know all about it, and yet offering a lot of... It's like, what? I don't think you're crazy. I don't think you know anything about me. I assume you'd never heard of me. I don't have weird assumptions and narcissism and grandioseness. I, I wouldn't have been offended if Corey Adam didn't remember me. But clearly... He and Josh Denny have had conversations, and now I'm a bad guy. It's like, uh, okay. <laughs> On it. Um, never have. What is it? You don't know. watch it at all, or you don't watch much of it, Pat? Right. Uh, I, never watched, I never watched it at all until three or four days ago, whenever this started. So there's your truth. Not, none of it. I, last time I watched uh, Kevin Brennan and MLC was on this show like over a year ago, because of Zumok. I had met Zumok and he was trying to tell me to get into it. And we were, and I like watched it and I was like, ah, oh, Bob Levy's weird and Kevin Brennan's weird. And they're just starting fights. I think we covered it for two hours. And then never again. So I watched none of it. 
until four days ago. You got me? Did I get got? <laughs> like, fuck. Why is why is this a gotcha? It's so, This is so weird that you're, like, trying to leave no stone unturned about what I say I watch and stuff. I'm watching every fucking thing I can watch on Zoom Ock and Steel Tono. I'm watching it. I, enjoy, I love it. But it's brand new to me. So if that's crazy to you, I, oh, you got me? You're right. It's my 19th time watching it all. I, okay? So had watched none of it. Days ago, watched a couple programs, did this show, watched more of it, and since this show, I've watched uh, twice as much as that. So I'm catching up. I'm trying. He's arguing with this guy a lot. Uh-oh, don't and you I've say I've never seen about this me. guy before. Fair and enough. I, and they call him Steel Toe morning show i mean they don't call me that but that's funny. um his name is yeah i'm sorry i didn't know aaron jesus christ fuck, fuck, fuck. everyone calls my you steel toe fuck, fuck fuck and i don't want anybody in our audience yes, calling shut me. up fuck 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 i my name is not fuck 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 shut up fuck fuck that fuck. is I'm none of none of you Stop will it. be aaron and april aaron none and april i got it i got it i got it fuck 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 from now on fuck, fuck, fuck. knock it off <laughs> my name is not fuck 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 yeah but he he thinks I'm doing a thing where, like, he knows my name and he won't say it. It's like, I didn't at that time. I have it now. Again, this was a real-time, like, learning thing. Like, I had seen it. I couldn't remember it. But I got it now. Double A. I'll never fuck it up again because I made a mnemonic device. He's got to be drunk, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> Cause the law and your name is fuck, fuck, fuck. This is the guy. Um, what? Oh, what is his fucking name? Hold on. That's I a think fuck he's fuck an fuck open fuck. mic comic, this. or maybe that's just what Chad said. I am not a comic. I would never be caught dead as a comic. I am an MC hey. of my own shows from time to time. Watch it. Watch it. You would be caught dead as a comic. What's the difference? I wouldn't. You would. Simply Stop it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Matter of opinion. Fuck, fuck, fuck doesn't want to be on stage. I'm actually, yeah, I'm a... I'm press a, press a, F, F, F in chat for fuck, fuck, fuck. I, uh, my family is actually from Thailand. I'm just light-skinned, and my name is fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> this is hard to watch. I gotta this is why I'm it. trying to do this with you guys live, because I don't want to figure out what I've watched when I've watched. I've watched two videos, and I'm realizing this thing goes deep. Yeah. Wait, so you uh, watched two videos and decided to eat up an entire show. four hours on it? Yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. Um, <laughs> Sword and Scale just said, this is going to be good. <laughs> is it? Oh, man. Well, I tell you what. That that chapter was called Zumok Red Flags, and he it was just him scrolling through his Twitter. Uh, Steel Toe attacks Chad's. Here, meet the Steel Toe morning show. Should we check that one out? Let's one more clip sure. of Melton. I'm having a hard time with this because I can feel people Good. getting bored. I make really my clips anymore. unwatchable. Steel Toe. Oh, I just gotta Google it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That's okay. Steel no, Toe Morning Show. You gotta I go like fuck, that. fuck, is, fuck. Is this a real radio show? No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. I did. I heard. Okay. Sorry, I'm very high as well. So no, good. That's he was a rock. he was a real radio guy. Aaron M. Holt. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick Thank Melton. You, Aaron M. Holt, or Holty. I don't know how you say it. You had it right the first time. Yeah, he was a real Aaron morning M. show Holtie. guy. Oh, I guess he got Holtie. fired from real radio. That's your Minnesota. name. Fuck, 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 Holty. <laughs> fuck, 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 Holty. Um, and he got, I, I think he got fired from real radio and... I quit, but they were probably going to fire me, yes. Okay, yeah, sorry, apologies. Yeah, we walked out before they could fire us. Started up. I don't know if he, if he had the Steel Toe Morning Show on the real radio, or he, he just started he up a podcast called the Steel Toe Morning Show. Can we get... Uh, did, you, listen, internet, <laughs> we're on notice. I love that he's... Dr I love that my cadence and pacing drives him mad because we are the opposite like style i i am not in a rush i am comfortable with pauses he's got it but this is radio i'm telling you this is radio training and and you got to undo it a little bit because i guarantee Corey adam has a little bit more of that let's 
Let's feel it. Because, like, there are, there is comedy in silences. There is comedy in beats. You don't have to be on all the time. You don't have to have such low faith in your listeners that if I don't hurry up and fill the gaps, they're going to tune out. He said that earlier. Like, I got I to gotta hurry up and talk or they're going to tune out. It's like, I don't want people who need to be coddled to every second or they're going to tune out. I like listeners who have brain cells that are functioning, clicking on different levels, and in between my pauses or long rants or uh, I, the, my traversals through tangents that I go on, they can have their own thoughts. There's plenty of room in this show to breathe. It's hard. It's hard for a show like yours to pull. You gotta. You're gonna have to clip stuff. And by the way, we do five hours all the time too. So it's a lot of clipping for you. Because I don't make a lot of clips. Um, I find it to be not worth my time. And if you're like, why don't you just hire somebody? I can't afford it. <laughs> Can we get our shit together before we go on air? It does make for a better... So he, like, he, he's losing his mind that... this. I don't... Again, like, in his brain, there's an on-air sign up over here in the corner. And that... 10 p.m. I hit the switch and we go live. I'm on my sofa. Jay says, are you going to do a show tonight? I say, no. We talked me into it 20 minutes later. I'm doing a show. There's no prep. This is something I've been into recently on YouTube. And when I went live, I go, we're going to watch it together. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. And then we do. And it's driving him nuts. I can't believe that anybody would enjoy entertainment at a different pace than me. This is outstanding. He's losing it. He's losing it. I don't know if anybody's ever trolled uh, Steel Toe like this. Steel Toe seems like a, like a calm, cool guy. And like he's losing his mind over the pacing I have. Like, why? Um, he was an unpaid radio DJ whose job depended on selling his own ad time. He couldn't sell it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know a lot of guys who did that kind of stuff. Um, all right, all right. So he was like an independent show paying for a block of time and uh, selling ads. All right. And was his wife always a part of the show or is she new or look he's pretending he doesn't know that April used to be the mascot <laughs> he's pretending he doesn't know okay Patrick okay everybody knows steel toe <laughs> I know of nobody likes onions I'm not gonna sit here and bring up a clip of a guy so again he knows all these things about me from uh Corey Adams who spent one night one night together with me a lot of personality can be gleamed in a short. Right, and then go, well, I don't know anything about him. Never even looked into it. It makes your. He really, he really thinks that I like knew him in his name. It like, let's say you're right. Let's, I mean, this is fucking nuts, but let's say you're right. Let's say you're like, I don't know why this is the biggest argument and takeaway from the clip too, by the way. It's like, he knew who we were. He knows deal though. He's going to pretend he doesn't know Steel Toe. He knows Steel Toe. No one knows. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> um, Aaron could sell ads. He had the highest rated show um, in his market by far. Okay. Well, two people in our chat lying. Because this guy says he couldn't. Um, but okay. Either way, let's, let's again say... Guys, I've known about Steel Toe for 10 years, and I know I know Aaron and Ape. Aaron and Ape. I know them. Of course, guys. Of course. I've been too scared to say their name, and then I thought a great way to like introduce them to you would be to fumble on here one night and pretend I'd never. It's like, what? To what end? What do I get out of... Pretending not to know something. I look dumb and it takes longer. I, what's his name? I got to go fuck, 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 fuck. And then you guys make fun of me for going fuck, fuck, You know, I feel like a fucking idiot. I, I look like such a loser. <laughs> uh, uh, 
to what it, for what? What does anyone gain by pretending to not know who Aaron M. Holt is? I'll wait because this seems to be a big focus for you guys. Like another one of these guys pretending to not know us. It's like uh, you, you come across things and then you look, you find them and you look and then you go, oh, I've never seen that before. And they go, right, right, right. Never seen it before. PlayStation 6 could come out and this motherfucker would be like, right, you didn't have a PlayStation 6. Okay. <laughs> like, there is a point in time where people have to find out about you. You know? Like, I, I find this very, very upsetting and problematic. <laughs> I know that broadcasters do that to sound prof like to sound like they're cool too cool for the room no one's too cool for any rooms this isn't even a room <laughs> fuck you why would that make me look cool to not be plugged into you i mean now i get it but <laughs> i like the the thing about it is like it doesn't like I'm listening to the conspiracy theory for what? What's the motive? To look cool. Right, right, right. This show is all about looking the coolest. <laughs> Hence the sticker on the hat. Um, Aaron M. Holty. M. Holt. I like sword and scale. Is that a real name? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's a real name. Oh, and he does. Okay, so and he does it with his wife. No, Aaron. No, Aaron Imholt is the awesome stage name that I picked out for myself. I had my pick of the litter. I didn't. I didn't know if I was missing some inside joke like Aaron I'm whole or so. I. I didn't look. <laughs> Again, I don't know who you are. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just found you. Be nice. You know? I'm trying to become a real fan. I, I'm gonna I'm a fan, man. <laughs> what a what a nut. What a absolute nut. You're the one with the pro show, not me. I don't have a pro show. <laughs> this, this show goes wherever it goes. He like, that's the thing, too, is, like, you can't even... You're a radio guy. Imagine a different format, if you will. One that doesn't rely on a preconceived breadcrumb of topics and open tabs. That's what we were doing. That's what we were doing. For four hours, we kept, oh, look at this video. Oh, it's Dry Bar Special. Let's check that out. Oh, then this happened. Let's go check that out. Prepare a show. It's like you have no show prepared. It's like, right. Now you get it. Now you get it. Um, they they fired him because the station was pressured to after he ripped uh, on a fat bitch in Iowa for an entire morning. Well, now he's ripping on a fat bitch in Vegas for a good part of the morning. Um, I only found Steel Toe when they talked about Alex Stein. Well, there's one thing failing... Shows do when they need listeners and have run out of options. They talk about old Alex Stein, <laughs> number 99. I've never heard of him. I could have had any name of Aaron Diggler, anything. And you know what I chose? And then he oh. does this thing like I was looking for his name and I said, fuck, fuck, fuck. And then they look. And again, I think like for the most part, this guy's funny. Like, this is where your cornball shoehorning a bit that doesn't work uh, comes in. It's like, you know I was looking for your real name. I found it seconds later and said it. And I stopped for a moment and went, fuck, fuck, fuck. And you go, yeah, 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 it's fuck, fuck, fuck. That's my name. And then you and Corey Adam both waddled around doing a sketch for 10 minutes based on me saying fuck, fuck, fuck. As if that was intellectually honest. Like, yeah, we're fuck, fuck, fuck. And now I said... Um, I don't know if that's his real name. Cause again, I don't, like, I don't, I, I don't, people use fake names and now you're like, yeah, I could have had anything. What, I, I could have had butthole man. Another, like great sketch, <laughs> great, cool sketch.
I, I, got me, I guess. I, I guess I look dumb as fuck. <laughs> like, what's going on? They really paused it to do a bit about how, yeah, that's not my real name. I could, I don't know. Like, not just a comment. Like, they paused it to do a wacky bit where they're all dancing around saying other names. <laughs> Hard German. Watch. I- okay, so, and he does it with his wife. No, Aaron, no. Aaron Imholt is the awesome stage name that I picked up. Counting the seconds. I had my pick of the litter. I could have had any name of Aaron Diggler. Anything. And you know what I chose? A hard German Imholt. You know what that reminds me? 15 second raping me for just saying, I don't know if that's his real name. Like, what's going on? Sorry, man. As we have, there's a guy that I used to work with who's a comic out of Minneapolis named Joey Hamburger. That's his literal name. Yeah, I've I've met him. I performed when we did the Florentine show. Yeah. Really nice guy. Pretty funny, but, but a great guy, right? And like, everybody would always be like, is that your stage name? He's like, yeah, dude, I chose hamburger spelled wrong. Yeah. As my stage name. <laughs> Is Imholt a stage name? Yeah, I'm just a giant retard. My yeah. actual, um, my my real name. Yeah, is, your name is re 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 re. Yeah, my uh, my real name is Aaron the N word, and I decided that wasn't going to play in show business, so I decided to go with something sexy like. I'm not gonna. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna read that mean comment about April. Like this is not look. I'm not going there with that shit, because it takes away from like real real critiques. Like this guy, you know, I'm, it doesn't even matter. Like it's just like. Oh, yeah, I get it. I'm the loser that nobody watches. Got it, got it, got it. Go on. The clips I saw. <laughs> Aaron Nolte. With his wife. Corey's my wife. Buddy. And, um. Oh. Better not be. And they just do a morning show now. Now, I don't know if his wife was on the, the radio show with him or not. Um, He's an interesting guy. find this guy. all out. Oh, like, wait, wait, wait a minute. I'm an interesting guy. Let him talk about the interesting guy oh, that he's just oh, I just want to say this. About. Couldn't most of these questions be answered with like five seconds on Google before the show? That's what I'm saying. Like, can we just do a little show prep? That's all I'm asking. Yeah, he doesn't get it. Like, I, I can't even be mad at it. But you will feel dumb when you go back and be like, no, we're not, we're not doing show prep for this show. For pulling up YouTube videos and watching Steel Toe Morning Show and Chad Zumok feud. No, we're not doing show prep. We're hanging out. <laughs> we're, we're a group of close pals watching an internet feud. Like, again, this isn't a... Sh- like, that's what's sad is he thinks this is my show. <laughs> Guys... 70% of the reason why people are entertained by this show is not because I'm good or Corey's good or Johnny's good or April's good. It's because we just planned some things to talk about that we're interested in. But 30 minutes in, you're playing 30 minutes of my video that you've never watched before. Like, again, you are right. Like, you do a prep show. And by the way, I do prepped shows as well. This isn't one of them. I do... Don't you do a thing called overtime, which is very similar to my overdose? (laughs) Don't you do that? So, like, you don't understand more bonus free-form content? This, what you're doing now, is very free-form, unprepared. And by the way, instead of me just spewing out falsities about you and things that I don't know, like making up a name or saying that you did a radio show with your wife before... I asked the question because the chat could Google it and get it to me faster in real time. Imagine me uh, at 11 p.m. or midnight whenever we did that show going like, let me just Google real quick and see if his wife ever did the program with him. It's like, no, this is a hang. This is bonus content. (laughs) You'll feel you'll feel silly. This isn't a show. What a bad show. No prep. Agreed. (laughs) Like, yeah, the difference is. Your show that you're doing has no prep, and you claim that that's... I mean, this is the morning show. This is your main show where you have segments and prep. So, I, you know, I think you're just... I think you're just ignorant. Like, not in, not like as an insult, like the definition of ignorant. You don't know what you're talking about. You jumped into the middle of this video and are making all kinds of wild assumptions based on a lot of feels that our buddy Corey Adams having about his buddy Josh Denny. He's got some some uh, protection going on 
because of the feels. So then, so we might sound like we know what we're doing. You know, like when a car guy, you don't actually watch him fix your car. He so might- now he's going to do another five minutes about how I don't know how to prep for a show. <laughs> like, this will look stupid in hindsight. You just said that I was so delusional in my head. I thought it was on par with Rogan. And uh, who was the other guy? They said I thought I oh, Marin. It's like, by the way, Marin was on my show in 2007, and I gave him the list of equipment to buy to start his podcast. In what level do I think I am Marin? You're the projection going on with this fucking guy. It's like there's nobody who can line up and say Patrick thinks he's way bigger deal than he is. That's not what's happening here. I can't take a compliment. People offer me. Edwin San Juan's like, come on down and do a set. I can't even. Why would I deserve that? Nobody wants that here. (laughs) You're talking to the wrong guy to be like, oh, he's trying to look cool by pretending not to know us. It's like, I'm dumb and not in those worlds. (laughs) Fucking hell. People call me Patrick Fairman. That's my name in the streets. I'm fair. You may not like it because it's real. And by the way, I'm never, I've never said I'm not wrong. My show's easy to watch. My show's fun to watch. You don't know it yet. Okay? This is the kind of show you don't have to try to watch. This is the kind of show you can go away 10 minutes, 15 minutes in the bathroom, do a real Duke job. You know what I mean? Come back. You haven't missed anything. So, you know, the kids are loving it. The kids on the Adderalls, they're into it. But for your co-host to sit there and say, I'm so delusional, I think I'm on par, that I think Joe Rogan is my contemporary. And then a minute later, go, he's always been really self-aware. Hello? Sounds like we got a liar on our hands. You cotton? I know you like tombstone references. That's what I have gotten from you. Yeah, we yeah, did have Like he's new to the okay. internet like you were, asshole. Asshole. Right. I, I Emotional I damage. I'm just, he's not. Let's see if he shows the border, like, because he's not wrong. It does kind of look like his old border. All right, bit. let not me that, try to like, find that like, here. It's not, like, intentional. It's just everybody likes flames. What are you, you going to do? Yeah, I'm not. Nobody's going, Aaron Imholt stole my show in graphics. Fuck, let it go, you needy motherfucker. Holy shit, is this guy sensitive and defensive? This is insane. And by the way, our chat's piping up agreeing with this now. Um, um, hold on. That section um, was full of of understanding as well, I think. Corey is acting like a woman. Corey is a woman. Um, you said you'll get better. I'll help you reach out. He'd never reach out to me for help. I, well, I don't know. Steel toe's nice. I, look, the guy's a pro. Like, you can't argue that he's a not a pro. I'm not dumb. I enjoy watching him. I'm going to watch all the clips on, on Chad Zumach. I'm not, I'm marking out to the dude. I like him. You know, he's got a lot wrong on today's show, but that's why I can't be mad about it. If he were to watch the five hour show, which I don't think he will, but if he does, like he'll see it all unfold in context, how the evening unfolded. He just skipped through the middle and go like, these guys didn't prep for this at all. (laughs) It's like, yeah, yeah, man. Oh, fuck. But you know, these are people who listen to the Steel Toe Morning Show and they're in the chat going, Corey acts like Chad. He gets mad at chat, uh, the chat all the time. He's not funny, just angry. And it's like, this is your audience. This is not, this chick's never been in my chat. She came from you. So like, you gotta, in order to volunteer that information in a, another show's chat room, it has to have a tinge of truth. And I'm watching you have all this vengeance and animosity towards me. And I've, again... Never done anything to you. We, I met you and we had a good time. I, you know, you say I was a dick and then I think I'm Joe Rogan. Okay. Can you tell me more about that? (laughs) 
can do. That's and not, this that's is a really that bad representation like, of it. Grungy look like, hey, we're edgy as fuck over here. Wow, you were skinny, said Jay. Fucking hell. I don't really think our shit looks anything like that. But all right. No, not the one that's not the one that I thought he was gonna do. <laughs> What's funny example. is the one he was the one he I thought he was gonna do is the one when Josh was on there because they had like more of like an orange background to it. But yeah. Oh yeah, let's put a camera under my nine chins. Here's another one. Um, flames. Yeah, that doesn't really look like your a production value looks baby. so much better now that you look like you're, you're shooting it in a closet. You're on the line and tell him he's imaginary. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I'd say that, and you'd be like, "Oh, great." Yeah. And yeah. then we move no, on. Daniel I don't Vell, but I don't no, like, I you really awesome. want somebody at the Roomba? I never follow through with anything. But if we could have got him to call in, mm -hmm. Danny, look at Danny. Happy. That's that makes me happy. Well, I have friends who will pretend Vell. to be. We're going to get it. At room we'll get it out of the way at the top. Danny has a, a CD coming out at the end of the month, but you can pre-order it now on iTunes. Yeah, I don't. Is he just he's just watching his old clips now? Yeah. But see the flames on the background. Yeah. I mean, I that's the background. And like, literally, it's just because you have flames and he you can't you can't go. First of all, did you catch the other uh, zinger from from Corey Adam here again? This is now 100% confirmed. This guy's emotional. This guy's emotional and takes it really, like, personal. He's getting more and more worked up and mad um, at me. And he, I don't know if you caught the dig. He's like, yeah, Patrick, your production value looks so much better now that it looks like you're broadcasting from a closet. It's like... What? This is what your closet looks like? Why don't you broadcast in there? Because what I'm seeing is a man who, you know, do we got to do this? I mean, what is wrong with you? I can't imagine coming to you from this, you know, room and being like, you look like you're in a closet. It's like, I, I'm not, I can't take the bait. You don't believe that. What's wrong, baby girl? What's wrong? Well, it looks like you're in a closet now. Do it. And a microphone. You're doing great. Why does everybody need this constant reassurance? You guys are doing great. I'm a fan. I'm in. I'm watching the toe. I'm a toe, bro. I'm a toe, bro. Do you guys have a uh, your fan club called Toe Bros? I'm a toe, bro. Fuck. Chill. We're all on your side. Corey Adams getting worked up and worked up. It's like, turn your ring light down. I think it's frying your brain cells. You know, like, back it off. Yours looks better than ours did in 2011, Steel Toe. Calm down. Nobody's hurting you. He has flames. Yeah, I don't really see the 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 connection, but again. It's, that you both it's fine. It's not a big deal. Flames. All right. We both, all right. Well, thank you for helping me. Uh, so there you go. That's uh, I, I don't want to do any more of that because I'm worried. Yeah, people are writing in the chat. Holy fuck, dude, get to any point. Uh, familiar human rights. Flames, bro, come on. Uh, geez, is he ever going to get to the point? I'm starting to think Corey is trolling us, making us watch this shit. No, this was me. Yeah, I didn't do this. Don't blame the. If we're ever watching Nobody Loves Onions, it is not my doing, guys. So now I'm worried. So he's he's said the name several times. And by the way, Every time Aaron M. Holt says it, he says it correct. So Chad, sorry, Chad. I call him Chad because it's definitely, he, look, because he's doing the thing. I, I'm telling you right now, I, Corey Adams acting like Chad. No, if we're ever watching Nobody Loves Onions, trust me, it's you. I'm not into that. It's like you've provided so much color current commentary. I mean, even again, your own your own people are in my chat saying Corey must hate watch you to know so much. 
He's definitely confused or lying. Um, their banner makes your LED backlit palette look like, look like an Apple store. Look, I didn't mean to offend you with the with the dated look thing. And by the way, I take it back. Ours looked better in 2011 than yours did in 2023. I, I don't mean... I know that you're going like flames. Yeah, okay, I guess we're the same. I don't really see the comparison. Yeah, me neither. Ours looked better. Like... I, Again, I, oh, I guess 4K cameras are all that matter for good content. It, they don't. They don't. And a set doesn't matter either. Print out a banner of a poop emoji and have a killer show. I don't. That's not the point. <laughs> so uh, it's very, it's very weird for you to stumble on something um, that you think is a show. And constantly go like, they don't even prep for this show. <laughs> and several times during it, we say it's not a show. <laughs> Corey is still mad you didn't buy him dessert after and said he doesn't sex on the first day. What? They look like they had to film in Keith and Hemda's studio and put the banner up to cover the hole in the wall for the Ethernet cables. I pretty sure that this show has some money i'm not this is the crazy thing is like these guys come in this is also shock jock radio um jocktober garbage that radio minded people have to do you have to come in hot guns blazing what is this shit <laughs> it's like, i don't know don't worry about it. It's not for you. It's not for you. Get to the point. It's a four-hour video. I'm not Chad Zumach who does a six-minute walk and talk on the way to the fucking parole officer where I just go, hey, uh, not much of an update. Oh, Steel Toe's talking about me. Gotta go. And click it off. Get to the point. Fuck you. I'll stay live all day and night. Corey is like Chad. He's an angry man. Yeah, I mean, look, I, God bless, and I have nothing bad to say about him. I'd be lying. I don't know him from Adam's. He seems to know all about me. And I can only imagine he's he's confusing me with someone else. Orange background. That's never. He's confusing us with someone else. He's lying. He's just ball faced lying. By the way, the nobody loves onions thing, you said the name correctly at, towards the beginning. So you do know the name. So you're either doing the thing where you circled back and did the old blinker fluid joke again twice. Imagine doing a blinker fluid joke on the radio in 2023. By the way, set it up. Had the setup in the swish. And then circled back around to do it again. So... It doesn't, that's the only reason I go, I think he's saying nobody loves onions on purpose over and over again as like a dig. And it's like, good one, you know, good one. Um, so I, I, I got nothing to say about Corey Adam cause I don't know him. Um, I can't remember his stand up, So it'd be, un, it'd be unfair to say anything about a stand up. Um, Aaron says he's not a stand-up. Chad said he's an open micer. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um. Yeah, that's where that's where we're at. So these guys think anybody who says they've never heard of them is a liar. They think anybody who doesn't uh, prepare when they go live is doesn't know how to do a show. They're very narrow-minded and guns blazing. But I think Aaron was listening and, like, coming around to it a little bit. Um, but Corey has had enough. Corey's very angry at me. Emotional. Go back and watch his face. He went, He went. His mouth winces up. And he does that. He snaps a couple of times. Asshole. It's like, okay. If nobody likes onions. Uh, is uh, Stevie J says he owns the copyright for fire. <laughs> 
Oh no! I see. I didn't know that. Yeah, now we're gonna I have to give up. him royalties because we're using fire. I, you know, and also, I don't know if you know, no, but that's the joke. The joke is, you can't. Oh, he thinks you copied him because you used fire. Everybody uses fire. You can't open the own the copyright for fire. It's like, yeah, that's my point. It's like when you're new, you use fire because it's cool, <laughs> and everyone uses fire. It wasn't, see, again, these guys are so radio war-minded that they think what I'm saying is, you guys stole fire from us. What I'm saying is, fire's for basic bitch beginners. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm not mad at you. I don't think I'm owed. I don't think I've been wronged. Um... So, again, get out of your dumb little radio feud mindset. Just because I go, you, your thing looks like ours did 11 years ago, you're focusing on the, like, ours did. What I'm focusing on is the 11 years ago part. <laughs> they hear the wrong messages, and then they fight back against the straw man, and that's what I find great. Watching, watching Aaron get so mad that I'm not prepped <laughs> is one of the best parts of my day. That's crazy. That's crazy. Do some prep. No, this or not. Oh, the AIDS drug? Nobody's ever used fire as a decal on the back ever. No, no. And uh, so it, now they're laughing about how everybody uses fire, idiot. It's like, right, that's what I'm saying. We're saying the same thing. Everyone does that. You could, if you searched for morning radio show logo template, it would have fire and a microphone. Yeah, Plus, like, nobody loves onions. Do you know how boring of a show you have to be that you're talking about me in a relatively complimentary light? And I turn it off because I'm like, I'm worried yeah. my audience is going to start jumping I, ship. I can say, like, how long have you and I worked together? Five years? Sure. Four I years? think in that time, this is the first time I've seen you get bored with anything that was a narcissistic topic ever. Right. It's actually break like Patrick Melton is actually breaking me of my narcissism by me going, I, like, this is bad for my show. That dude pitted your narcissism against your just low attention span. Yeah. And I've never seen your narcissism not be able to pull out the win. Right. The only thing that kept me going was that my name is fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah. Uh, that's, wow. And, and Nolte. Nolte? What was it? Imholte. Imholte. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, 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 Imolte. Yes. Those, those, are, those are my two names. I have two identities. One's a stage. Hey, Aaron, even you watching that back has to give you douche chills. I know you're a Kumia fan, so wanted to frame it for you correctly. You circling back to that fuck, 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 as if, first of all, as if it's like a thing I thought, like he thought my name was fuck, fuck, fuck. It's like, no, 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 he didn't know your name and wanted to get it right and was scrolling and said fuck, 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 uh, and you guys paused it. And it was insane when you made a big parade about it 30 minutes ago. It wasn't a funny bit. Like, and by the way, I think you're funny. This, you have to objectively admit on this one. And the way you pause this again and circled back to it as if it's like some, you know, reprise of a chorus that we're all going to go like, oh, the fuck, 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 when he thought your name was fuck, fuck, fuck. God damn. Even you're cringing at that. Ro roast away. But that's hard. That's... Oh, he thought... Fuck, fuck, fuck. It's like... And then he didn't know how to say Imholt. He thought it might be Imholty. What an idiot. Right. Yeah, everybody... Right. Say nobody loves onions again. Right. I, circling back to that fuck, fuck, fuck joke was... Almost as cringe as Corey circling back and doing the 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 uh, blinker fluid joke. Blinker fluid joke. I know you're in Minnesota. It's not that slow there. 
That's a joke dads have told dads. And he circled back and was like, maybe they didn't hear it. I said, the blinker flew. It's cheaper than anywhere I've ever. We heard it. We heard it. Sorry, Kumia. We heard you. <laughs> Remember when he thought my name was fuck, fuck, fuck? That's how you guys cap this? I, I Don't act like it's a win. You do good. You do good radio. Again, everything is either a 10 or a zero. And either way, it's a straight line. You do good radio. You do funny bits. You do good segments. I've watched the Chad clips. Don't walk away from this. Drop that fuck, fuck, fuck shit again and be like, what a win. What a great segment. You played this video. You assumed that I was doing a segment on Chad and you. Wasn't. You assumed I might be doing a show about Chad and you. Wasn't. In a four and a half hour video, you skipped around, found some ums, and a part where I didn't know your name, and you're going to circle back that wagon, pick up that joke again, try to put it down, and walk away. As if we're not going to know we're all re eating regurgitated leftovers. What? This wasn't a great one. This wasn't a great one. No one thinks you stole fire. <laughs> like, catch up. Catch up, Steel Toe. Apparently, when he was coming off that earwolf, he's got to be drunk. <laughs>